The Perseid meteor shower returned in all its galactic glory four days ago. It's the time of year when Earth passes through the dust trail left behind by the comet Swift Tuttle. Yeah, it just kind of blows through there. Every year it happens, barring any overbearing light pollution. You can get out and see some of these. And a lot of local astronomers, amateur stargazers are out there trying to get a glimpse of that dust that we would only see as it entered the atmosphere as a meteor. Well, Jordan Ragsdale of Eagle has seen a lot of these meteors. For the past year or so, he's recorded countless of them on his outdoor camera. Some days he gets as few as 20. Some mornings he wakes up to as many as 500 recorded meteors. Well, early yesterday morning, just after 5 a.m., Jordan caught more than a glimpse of a meteor. One that he says was the longest he's ever recorded and maybe the longest ever recorded. This one just stood out because it, you know, it happened over multiple cameras. And anytime that happens, it's always like, oh, that was a long traveling meteor. It's pretty unusual for it to, you know, go so far that it goes from one camera angle to the next. And as I was looking more, I was like, wow, this is four camera angles, you know, and not only that, but it kind of started on the northern horizon. And then, you know, it, I didn't even see it finish uh, behind the southern horizon. It, you know, went behind a tree before I could see it. So 27 seconds. Is, is that a long time for a meteor? I think it's pretty unusual because, you know, most of the time they just burn up in the atmosphere. They call it an earth grazer, you know, where it just kind of grazes the earth. You know, they've even speculated some of them will just skip off the atmosphere. You know, they'll just light up a little bit. And that's enough resistance that'll, you know, send them out of the atmosphere. But this one looks like it, you know, just had that perfect angle that it, you know, just coasted right through. So, so this camera that you have on, the, it's mounted on the side of your house. Yep. It captures pretty much every meteor that goes by. I usually review them over a cup of coffee in the morning, you know, because you can go through and most of them are just tiny little blips. But, you know, every once in a while they jump out at you, you know, pretty bright. You know, if you get a real bright one, it's exciting. So, you know, or, or a real long one, like you said, or a long one. Yeah. So it's a little bit like, you know, treasure hunting. You never know what you're going to find in the morning. So it's opening up a little present, you know, while you're having your coffee every morning. Quite the present Jordan found yesterday morning. Jordan says his camera is connected to a network of hundreds of these types of cameras, and they all send their videos to a centralized database. And there's one other one of these in Glens Ferry, he says, and they are compiling the video from that one to see if the meteor he captured is, in fact, the longest ever recorded on camera. He said he should know that answer in about well, a day or so. He also, it's also been sent that, that video of his to NASA to see if, in fact, it was a meteor or part of the Perseid meteor shower because, well, it could have been anything, but they're going to look at the trajectory, and NASA has, well, the means to do that. The annual phenomenon, the Perseid meteor shower, lasts through August 24th, by the way, with its peak expected to be August 13th, which is the time that we should see the most meteors burning through the sky. Should see is the key phrase here because that night, August 13th, happens to line up with the next full moon, the Sturgeon moon. According to NASA, it's going to appear for about three days from Wednesday morning through Saturday morning. But the meteors, they should burn brighter than the moonlight. That's the way it should be. So seeing them shouldn't be too much of a problem.